Yeah. Oh, good. And holiday, the purple one. Okay. What is this again? Cassava. Cassava. Oh, 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 oh. We call it cassava cake. Uh, how are you? Cassava how does that cake? taste? This is delicious. Yeah. Oh, you almost finished that. Can you oh, show me? Almost. Oh, you really like that. That was really good. Sweet. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, Pinoy Life in La La Land. This is your friendly host, Ren Guna. Alright, let's have a short discussion about Filipino foods. What is Filipino foods actually? If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe so you're gonna be more updated when it comes to Pinoy Life here in La La Land. Filipino cuisine is a past rising star in the food world. But the question still lingers, what exactly it is? What exactly a Filipino cuisine is? Actually, Filipino cuisine drew an inspiration from the Spanish culture where the typical salty, sweet, and sour ingredients they come together to accommodate almost or accommodate nearly every palate. It is really hard to describe the cuisine with just one dish since the Filipino cuisine is really diverse. Since it is, since Filipino food or Filipino cuisine is so diverse, no list of Filipino food without the list of kare kare, tinola, apritada, sinigang, caldereta, because those are very basic and very common to the Filipino people or to the Philippines cuisine. Plus, these two classic or very classic foodies, which is also known as the kakanin of the Philippines. These are the mouth-watering cassava cake and the wort drooling ube halaya. Yes, yes in this vlog I'm gonna feature my own homemade uh, ube halaya, my own uh, baked cassava cake. This, in this vlog, I'm gonna feature these two very classic foodies of the Philippine cuisine. This is what we're gonna share with, this is what I'm gonna share with my co-workers. The cooked uh, ube halaya and the baked cassava cake. We'll see how they react and if they will really like the way I cook. Oh my goodness, she's so happy. I am, I'm excited. So try that. Ooh, ooh fresh yum. And fresh. Yes, yummy. Yummy, okay. yummy. Okay. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh. What can it you say? Good. It is yummy. I love it. Oh, <laughs> everything you like it. Yes. Uh, everything you eat. Yes. <laughs> everything for you, Bert, tastes good. Everything from the Philippines. Uh, there it is. Oh, especially yeah. homemade. Yeah, homemade. Yeah, there's a homemade one. Mm -hmm. I told you. That one's really good. It's I, not as sweet as usually some people mm -hmm. make it, mm -hmm. but it's fresh and it melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it has a texture of like mochi, mm -hmm. but not really. But you know, because it's uh, the way it was shredded, so mm -hmm. I shredded it by myself. Okay. You know. Oh my gosh, it's good. It's buttery. It's it, oh, melting your mouth. There you go. That's oh. Good. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Look at this. Look at her. <laughs> 
You have a good I'm going to save this for later. <laughs> okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, really good. And holiday, the purple one. Okay. What is this again? Cassava. Cassava. We call it cassava cake. How are you? Cassava How does that taste? This is delicious. Yeah. I love very, the texture too. Good. What can you say, Tiara? I love it. It's oh. really, really good. It's really, really good. Brand, cook, and, and, it's, bake it. and bake it. You made this. Of course. It. Okay, it's let's. not too sweet. It's perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Yep. Let's take it. Very good. Why did you put, uh, put the cover back? Taste oh, it now. That's it. Here, I need to get a spoon. There you go, here. Oh. I cooked I like, that. I like the consistency. Oh, there's coconut in here. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. It's not mealy. Mm -hmm. Perfect texture. It smells really good. It smells very. It's very light and fluffy. It's not very heavy. Ooh, yummy! What is it? Okay, that's uh, yuca root. The yellow one. We call it cassava cake. What? A yuca root. You know the yuca? Yeah. Okay, so. It's baked. And then the purple one is a yum. But it's purple. It's like in Hawaii, it's a uh, taro. Delicious. It's good for coffee, right? I like this. What is that? That is open that up. Open that up. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. So that's what you call. Here's your fork. That's what you call uh, cassava cake. Can you smell it? Yeah. Oh, that smells pretty. Ca cassava cake and a purple yam. Purple yam? The, yeah, you eat yam, right? So yes. definitely yam is a plant base, but it's kind of sweet. I made it myself. You made this? Of course. That's like sweet. Oh, okay. That's a cheese. Looks like it. <laughs> Not like a potato. It's cassava. It's cassava. Okay, it's a yucca root. How do you like it? That's the yellow it's one. Good. It's got coconut in it. Yeah, it's a coconut because. Uh, coconut, vanilla, and vanilla. it's baked. Vanilla too? No, there's no vanilla. Have you heard any other Filipino foods with your friends or, you know? Um. Has someone introduced you to Filipino foods? No, never. None? So I'm the first one? You're the first person. <laughs> <laughs> it has eggs. Good. Yeah, it's baked. The way I made it is baked. Yeah. Th that one is the yam. The yam? Yeah, pur purple yam. You eat purple yam, right? So how do you like it? Really good. Of course, I made it. That's what you call Actually, ube uhalaya. I really like that. And I, my favorite part is it's not too sweet. Now this, this is what I've been craving. Now do you, do you cook this with coconut? Yeah. Mm. It's really smooth, the consistency. It's, oh, not, because it's not grainy, or there's not any um, fibers in it either. Oh, because it's shredded properly. Mm -hmm. It's really good. And you, you got the sweetness just right, because I don't like my food too sweet. How do you like it so far? I love it. Oh, you really like it, huh? That's good. Mm -hmm. Yummy, yummy, huh? Yeah, let's go with the yum taste. Hold on, taste something right now. Man, he's devouring yeah. the ube halaya. Both of them together taste good too. Of course. Now you are familiar with that now. Yeah. So that we call that cassava cake. Uh-huh. The yellow one.
because it's uh, out of cassava or the yucca roots. And the purple one is from yum. You know the sweet yum? Sweet yum, yeah. Like, a, but in Hawaii it's taro. Oh, okay, okay. This is really good, Aaron. Sharing you this food is part of our culture. You know why? You know that. For the ube, we call it the halaya, the purple yam. The purple. It's like a, for a, there's a big piece of family piece like that, you know. That's part of, you know, uh, foods on the table. I remember when I was a kid. When, when I was a kid, man, my mom will ask me to go to the market to have that, you know, uh, purple yam to be shredded. But now I made it, I shred it myself. This is our normal way of sharing or introducing our Filipino foods to our friends, to our acquaintances, to our co-workers, to strangers, to members of the family who really are not into Filipino foods. This is our way of life. This is part of our culture. This is Pinoy Life here in La La Land. I hope you like this video and I hope you're gonna follow me in my next vlog that will feature my own homemade mouthwatering ube halaya and word grooming cassava cake. See you next time.